Hello fellow collectors, and welcome to Galagon Toys. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video, and today we are doing a first, something a little bit different, an idea I've had uh, percolating for a little bit, uh, and I thought, why not, got a little bit of extra time on my hands now, so let's give it a go. So the idea behind uh, Collector's Corner, as you would have seen from the name of the video, uh, is basically... I will get subscribers uh, to post onto the Gallic Gun Toys Facebook page, or if they want to message me directly on the Gallic Gun Toys Facebook page, pictures of their collection, and in each video we will highlight a different collector and their collection. We'll basically go through the photos, see what they have, talk about some of the figures they have and their display, and yeah, just a little bit of something different. Uh, just to highlight some of the other awesome collections people have out there. Uh, now, I have a pretty big collection, but like today's, uh, like today's collector, you're going to see you don't need a massive, massive collection to have a nice display. So, our collector today is Thomas. Uh, if you follow the channel on the regular and you caught my Supernova 2020 video, uh, you would have seen we bumped into Thomas and I actually saw some of the things he picked up at Supernova uh, that we will see in his collection in a moment. So I reached out to Thomas because he is a local. Uh, I am, you know, we are quite friendly and he's a top bloke and he works for the same company I do. Uh, so I always see him around quite a bit. Uh, so I figured since it was something new, I'd reach out to Thomas and I, I know he has a nice collection uh, and I think I thought it would be important to show you guys what uh, someone a lot younger that can be dedicated with their money and their collecting uh, can really achieve in a small amount of time. Uh, you know, like over a couple years, I think Thomas said he's built this up, and it's just a really nice collection. So let's just jump straight into it, shall we? Okay, so this first picture, uh, guys, I really like this display he's got going on with, like, his Blood of Saiyans Vegeta and God Goku down the bottom, and then, like, uh, the Blood of Saiyans Super Saiyan 4s, and uh, there's just so much Super Saiyan 4 and just, just good stuff on this shelf. Uh, I love how he's got the uh, Grandista Gotenks hiding in the back there. I think that looks really good. Fun fact, my Grand Easter Go Tanks, I probably would have missed out on if Thomas hadn't actually told me that that was available at one of our local stores. So, yeah, massive thanks to Thomas for that, once again. Uh, but yeah, really like his top display he's got going here, looks really good. And the next is his top shelf of his detail. I'm guessing this is his Goku shelf, uh, because... Obviously, it's all just Goku, different forms of Goku. So we've got some really quality Bunpresto stuff in here. Some of my favorite stuff, like the Maxmatic Sun Goku Ultra Instinct, the Dragon Ball Super Broly figure with the uh, Power Pole. I can't remember the exact name of that, uh, but that is a really awesome Goku. He's got the Resolution... Resolution of Soldiers Son Goku in the front there. That is a really, really fantastic figure. I actually don't have that one personally, but I have the Vegeta, uh, and that is a really solid figure as well. Got uh, this cool Bumpresto Goku doing a Kamehameha in the back there. I think we're going to get a closer look at that uh, a little bit later in the video, guys, because that is one of his favourites, I believe. He's got uh, Bumpresto Super Saiyan 3 Goku down there. I can't remember the exact name of the line there. Uh, and then it looks like a Blood of Saiyans behind the Resolution of Soldiers. And then a classic, something I really love, classic Sofubi Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, now, if you guys know my collection, I have a lot of these, and they are really awesome uh, older figures, and I love the look of them. Okay, moving on to what I can only assume is like his Dragon Ball Super Shelf. Looks like a lot of Dragon Ball Super Broly stuff going on in here, but I do really love how he's got the Ultra Instinct Goku and the Super Saiyan Blue Grandista uh, back to back there. I think they look really good. I, I just think that's a really nice contrast, the way he's got them back to back, and just the 
sort of shiny metallic blue against the uh, grey or silver looks really good. Uh, it's just overall a really aesthetically nicely put together shelf. And I do like his use of the cards, the way he throws them into his display. Definitely helps with colour. Uh, you guys know I'm a real sucker for colour and how you can uh, make a shelf look a lot brighter by adding some different elements and different things. Uh, that's why I have a lot of smaller figures in front of my larger figures on my Bonpresto wall. Alright, and then we've got this awesome shelf here. We've got a couple of... Uh, Sort of like, we got Goku Black, Future Gohan, some really, just some random stuff in here, but some of my absolute favourites, like the Margin Vegeta and Super Saiyan 2 Goku with the Halo, battling it out in the back there. Uh, I really love this Goku Black, I don't actually have that, I should have got off my ass and got that at Supernova, but the Vegito there, one of my favourites, I really dig the Future Gohan he's got there was a new addition I got myself, and yeah, really, really dig it. Once again, love the addition of the cards, they look really good, just mixed in with the display there. Okay, and then we've got uh, the bottom shelf, so this is just a bit of a mixture he's got going on here with some random stuff, some cool stuff, looks like he's got a Manga Dimensions Master Star Piece Vegeta down there, that's pretty cool. And the Grandista Gohan, one of my absolute favourites. Really decent looking figure. Uh, and just some other cool stuff down the bottom. Okay, last little section of Thomas's collection. Uh, now, he picked up this artwork at Supernova, I believe. I'm pretty sure he showed us in the video when he was showing us his scores. Uh, and he's got some... Just got this nice little uh, display going up in the corner here, you know, he's got a few figures up there. And I think the artwork really, really makes that. I especially love this uh, bottom left picture with the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta in the corner. I think that looks fantastic and just really brings it together for this little corner here. Okay, so last part of the video guys, and this is something I want everyone that sends photos in to do, send in... A picture of your three most beloved figures. Uh, so I think fantastic choices here. So he's got the Manga Dimensions, Master Star Piece Vegeta that we mentioned earlier, and the Resolution of Soldiers Goku, both really solid figures. But in the front here, he's got this uh, awesome Goku doing the Kamehameha, signed by Sean Shamel. I think that's really, really awesome, and I do remember Thomas mentioning that he just loved this figure just because of the, just of how true to form it seems uh, that he's doing the Kamehameha, like, it, it's just one of his absolute favourites, uh, and I was, re it was really nice uh, hearing him explain uh, why he likes that figure so much, a really nice lot of figures. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed Thomas's collection as much as I did. Uh, really cool dude, and really awesome collection he's got building up there. Uh, so as you guys can see, if you've only got a small collection with a couple figures, it doesn't take long to go from where Thomas is to where I'm at. Uh, because Thomas has been at it like two years, uh, and like I said, he's a lot younger, so it's not like he uh, has quite the disposable income has had quite the disposable income I have for the last five or so years while I've been building this up. So, just a little word to the wise guys, like it doesn't take much, like just a little bit here and there. Smart purchases, being responsible with your money can really get you uh, quite far when it comes to collecting. But never put yourself out, never uh, go without to buy yourself a figure, obviously, and just be smart with your money. If you guys enjoyed uh, this very first episode of Collector's Corner, I hope you found it interesting. Please let me know down in the comments below what you thought of it, uh, and if you would like to see this uh, video series continue on a regular basis. Uh, at the moment, I'm thinking uh, we could make this a weekly thing, uh, maybe a monthly thing. If you guys really enjoy it, we could uh, ramp it up even more than that. But we'll see how we go. 
Alright fellow collectors, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget, you can also follow me over on Facebook, at Toys. Thank you as always for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.